Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just wanted to do something a little bit different today. Today I'm going to be taking you through my tracking sheet on what I utilize to plan and track my garden. Here's a copy of what I have on Google Drive and I will make this available to everybody via a link below. If you want to make a copy of it, all you're going to do is go up here to File and make a copy if you're utilizing Google Drive and it'll let you copy it in yourself that way you can update it and edit it as you see necessary so to get started the first thing I did whenever I made my garden bed was I utilized sfgplanner.com based on the square foot garden method that I had chose to go with this year the square foot garden method can be found through a book <clears throat> called the all new square foot garden method and I have a link to that right here in my bed design worksheet. You can click on that and read it. It's a great read, a great concept, and you can get a lot of information you need on gardening from that book. It tells you how to succession plant, all that good stuff. So anyhow, uh, that's what I use to plan my garden. Okay, sorry about that. It looks like I got a pop-up. Okay, again, that's what I use to plan my garden. And if you want to plan it, just go to sfgplanner.com after you read the book. And I did two 4x8 beds. So you can literally just drag the mouse down here to 4x8. And it will let you, at that point, click on each cell and decide what you want to plant. So if you want to plant basil, you just plant basil and click OK. And it will tell you how many to plant. Or you could go here and you could put in chard, for example. And it will tell you that you're going to put in four. And this is all in line with the square foot garden bed. It also gives you a chart over here to the right that uh, kind of tells you when you're supposed to plant. But I didn't have very good luck with that because these dates didn't want to edit properly. So I just used this as a nice little layout for my garden, which you'll see in my worksheet here tells me where to plant everything and then I use my own tracking sheet. That's how I got started with my design, my build, and where I was going to put everything. From that point over here on my planning planner, this is where I have everything laid out by garden bed with all my notes. So you can see that for my leak I wanted it in bed 1B. So if I go back here to my bed design I have bed 1A and 1B, this being 1A and this being 1B. And I can see that I need 18 leaks. So on here, I have my leaks, have all the information for them, when I need to seed it indoors before the last frost, which equivalented to, or which was equivalent to this date. And then if you keep scrolling to the right, it'll tell you when to take it outside approximately when it's going to be ready to be ripe and harvest, whether or not you need to pick it often based on the type of plant it is, what you should plant it with based on what type of plants it likes to go next to, and what you should um, not plant it with, and then what you want to check for as far as bugs go. And I utilize that for all of my plants that I chose to plant based on what I had in my bed design. Worked out really well and so far all my dates have been pretty close. Not 100% I've kind of played with them based on my own weather conditions but I at least allow me to go through here and sort the sheets based on when I want to plant indoors and then sort the sheets based on when I want to plant outdoors and it was very useful to me to keep track of when I'm planting my items. You can see here coming up on the 4th of May I'm going to plant watermelon and corn and my pumpkin. I'm going to actually transplant the watermelon and the pumpkin. The corn I'll direct so. And then my uh, pepper and tomato plants I did those really early because I got anxious this year and so I put them right here. You can find your frost dates by going to the Almanac website. I've got it listed right here. It'll give you the approximates, but you're going to have to watch the weather locally. And so that's how I'm tracking everything. I also built a separate diary spreadsheet, which you can look at. 
and for everything that I planted so far I have listed here you can click the links and go to highmowingseeds.com to get that exact seed if you're interested and it will tell you what it is how much it costs the days to maturity and then based on when it sprouts that's when your anticipated harvest is going to be out here and you can look in here to see what I seeded everything in when it sprouted when I transplanted it and then over here to the right is when I harvested it and how much I harvested that way I can keep track of my um, break even point on my bed design and my bed cost my final sheet I have in here is the bed cost and this will show just about everything I keep adding to things on here so I don't have every single item captured but this has got links to all the different things that I bought minus my pallets which were free and then the small pots I picked those up online at a different place and then the organic soil I got at Home Depot was just some miracle grow soil I got my square foot garden soil from veteran compost which is phenomenal but if you don't live in the northern Virginia Maryland DC area you can get an Mel's mix equivalent either in the store or online or you can build your own there's plenty of tutorials on it and then over here this is just my cost of everything um, and then I'm kinda tracking my actual yield to see how much of my money I get back this season and next season to offset that initial cost okay I hope this was helpful I hope this tools helpful don't forget to subscribe comment like my video below let me know if you have questions and I'll do my best to help thanks for watching